Well honey, here we are driving on our home street after a long drive home from Florida. Yep. It will sure feel good to get back home, sleep in our own bed, get our dog back from the kennel, and just get back to our regular schedule. Well, I don't see any yellow police tape around the house, so I guess everything is alright. Guess so. Here comes the garage door going up. Please tell me I'm not seeing what I'm seeing. What do you see? A flat tire on the forerunner. That's just great. Holy cow. Did you hear that pop? Yeah. Now the tire is even flatter. I can't believe it. I'll deal with it in the morning. Good idea. Oh look. Here's the problem. A nail right in the middle of the tire tread. Great. So now we know why it's flat. I'll still deal with it in the morning, okay? So now it is Sunday and I think I'll try and inflate the tire with our portable air compressor. I'll just turn on the electrical system of the forerunner, attach the air compressor and fill the tire. Yippee, it's working. I'll just turn off the compressor and arrange to get up early Monday morning, take the car to the tire shop and all will be well again. Okay, so now it's early Monday morning and I'm off to the tire store just as soon as I find my car keys. They are not on the dresser, they are not in the kitchen, they are not in my sweatpants. I know, I probably left them in the car last night. Great. Good luck at the tire store. Well... I found my car keys just where I thought I left them, in the ignition with the car's electrical system turned on all freaking night. Needless to say, the battery is as dead as a doornail. Well, at least I can jump start the car by using my jumper cables attached to the Sienna minivan. Only problem is that the battery is so completely discharged that it will not even power up a light. No way in hell that the car will start. What's the problem? Small problem with the battery, nothing trivial. I left the car on all night and now it is dead. I'm going to unhook the battery and take it up to AutoZone and see if they will recharge the battery. Okay. See you later. Good luck. Well, I'm back. They are going to do a 4 hour charge at no cost since I bought the battery there earlier this year. Once the battery is charged, I'll put it back into the car and then go and get the flat tire fixed and have them rotate the tires. Sounds like a plan. Sorry you are having to go through so much trouble. Gosh. It's not a lot of trouble. After all, I'm retired and have plenty of time to waste. Plus, it was my flippin' fault for leaving the car on all night. At least the motor was not running, or we would both been dead from carbon monoxide poisoning. Yes. You are right. We should be happy for small things. Okay, honey. I just picked up the battery, reinstalled it back into the forerunner, and the car starts, just like it was brand new. Finally, I'm off to the tire place. See you in a little bit. Good luck. Again. Hi. I'm here at Merchant's Tire and the salesman said the wait time is 2 to 3 hours. I don't seem to be able to catch a break. I guess I'll just sit down and wait. The good thing is that there will not be a charge for fixing the flat tire or rotating the tires. Super. I'll see you when you get home. This has been one hell of a day. You'll probably sleep like a baby. I'll sure be glad to have this day behind me. I hope nothing else goes wrong like... Maybe the garage door won't work. Just think positive, dear. I'm sure everything will be just fine.